Portugal rental. So this is a bathroom. It's a nice shower. Hardwood flooring. Full lip mirror for outfit check. <laughs> nice double bed and a cute little wall montage of what I assume is Lisbon. We just had a really good, really lovely conversation with the taxi driver. He was giving us tips and recommendations. And he was telling us a bit about Lisbon and he was saying how, you know, everyone's welcome here. And it's one of the most sort of multicultural cities, but they don't encourage, you know, like groups of ethnicities to live together because the government want them to all integrate. Right, we're just going to freshen up a bit and then we are going to get something to eat. Hello everyone, welcome to the Portugal vlog. I finally look like myself again. <laughs> so, <laughs> we have arrived in Portugal, we've arrived in Lisbon, staying in, what is it called, okay? Ex-Libidade. What well, Ukara said. <laughs> Apparently it's like the best location to stay because it's central. He was like, tomorrow morning, walk to the centre, walk around there and then get a tram. So that's, that's what we're going to do. I've got an itinerary for tomorrow, a rough itinerary of places we want to go. And now Walker is just looking at food and things to do tonight. We are excited. Unfortunately, I am dealing with nasty, nasty cramps. I did bring some Panadol with me from Scotland. So we're going to go to a supermarket as well. You guys know, or you might not know, but basically I love going to supermarkets in, um, in, in foreign countries. I just love seeing what they have. And they usually always have different food, different snacks and things. There'll probably be a little snack haul at some point. The actual process was was fine in terms of, you know, COVID and everything. It, was, it wasn't as long as I had expected it to be. Bizarrely, nobody checked our vaccination status. Uh, I think apparently here you do get checked before you go into restaurants and things like that. So yeah, we will have to have our um, apps with us. And I have got my new Carvella bag, which is so beautiful. I absolutely love it. Um, I've got this in London. It's so cute because you can wear it like this as well. I think tonight I will wear it like this, but you can also wear it across the body. I'm wearing all black. I also have got my new Kavala sock shoes and these are really comfy actually. So I'm just going to keep these on tonight and then just put on my green hijab. Well, guys also wearing black and white. He wants to match me. What can I say? <laughs> Guys, I've just um, done my button to try and add a little bit of shape to my outfit because I find that sometimes maxi dresses can end up looking really frumpy. And then also these are my Carvella sock trainers. I absolutely love them. They're so comfortable. They feel light as air um, and hopefully they'll be good for walking. And so far I've done 7,000 steps, which if you've been keeping up with my vlogs, you know that this, that is literally within my target, but I know we'll end up doing more because tomorrow will be lots of walking. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna go out now and try and get some food and see a little bit of Lisbon in the evening. And I'm really excited and also really, really hungry. So let's go. First thing I've noticed is the architecture here is so pretty. Look at these buildings. And also one thing I noticed when I was in the car was that it's very, very clean. And the taxi driver was saying that the council employ hundreds of people literally every single day to clean the whole city. And he also said it's a really safe city for women to walk in. He's like, you often see women just walking alone. Um, and oh, this is one of the supermarkets. Continente. I just want to say, I apologise for my accents in advance. This part here is, what is it called, Uka? The Avenue. The Avenue, essentially where all the high-end designer shops are. So you've got Cartier in the most beautiful building. Versace. Bulgari. Look how nice the buildings are. Does the buildings not remind you of what you imagine Paris to be like? You've been to Paris? I have been to Paris when I was younger, but I feel like Paris was not as clean as Lisbon so far. Not even here long though. <laughs> Look at the streets. How cute is that? Reminds me of La Rambla. Where's that? Barcelona. I can't wait to come here tomorrow in the daytime and get some cute pics and some nice photography photos. Oh, I don't know if I said but 
Um, I have brought my photography camera along with me today. I mean, not today, in this trip. But I tried a little bit of documentary photography, <laughs> travel photography, if you like. Um, and if you didn't know, I do have a photography channel. So if you are interested, go check it out. So guys, we've come to Kebab Hut for dinner. We're absolutely starving. It's quarter to 11. And I thought I would try this Brazilian drink. It's called a Guarana Antarctica. Thank you so much. Thank you. The bread has got a big burger and it is dripping though. Okay, that is beautiful. Tell me about the bread and the tenderness of the meat. I feel like Mark Wayne's right now. But that is so good. So good. Sorry, but I would come here again for that. Shave. Let me try my drink as well. Yes. Yes. Tastes a bit like um, cream soda, but with slightly a slight cherry tinge. Listen. I've just seen that my brand new battery that I got from Amazon is broken. I'm not gonna let that ruin my day. I am going to write a swift complaint to the seller on Amazon and then I'm gonna get on with the day. So we're gonna go for breakfast. Um, I think I found a really cute spot. It's actually called Dear Breakfast. And then we're gonna get a Metro card and see where the tailor takes us. Wow. Guys, we just got a metro and train ticket. But it's like no English at all, so well done. Okay. Smash it. <laughs> so, yeah, I know. I've got my mask on upside down. And can you just do an outfit check, please? Should have brought white socks, but I don't know if I've been surprised before. Because yesterday evening, it's really, really chilly. We are going to go back to the hotel anyway. And we're going to get our jackets. Well, yeah, our jackets and scarf, I think, after sunset. But for now, I think this will be fine. And everyone around us is what it seems to be most people actually are thinking we're wearing jackets and coats and layering up. So that's one thing I will say to come in. February. Don't expect it to be super warm. It's gonna be decently sunny, but not super warm. Oh, it's an all day pass. This is an all day pass. pass. And it was about six, six and a half euros. Six euros fifty each. It's not bad for like all day travel at all. I'm pretty sure in London, all day travel is like 10 pounds. I'm really hungry, so I'm excited to eat. I'm excited to have my coffee. Guys, the, the amount of um, elevators here is insane. We just went down two. Is this the last one? No, there's another one after this. This is very, very, very deep underground. Guys, we're just waiting for the tram because I think it's like a six minute tram ride. However, we don't have a ticket for the tram, so I don't know how it's gonna work. It just seems, well guys, like, we just have to jump on, so they just don't really stop. <laughs> so this is a tram stop. <laughs> and this is a, the, is, it a like, is this a famous one, the number 28? Number 28 will take you across the whole city. So, and I believe if you buy one ticket, you can just jump on, jump on and off. So that's what we're planning to do. There's also an MS store over there. Uh, the buildings here are so beautiful. I really should have just brought my hijab mask. That would have been much smarter. And I have lost my husband. Ah! Our um, ticket, this ticket did work, which is amazing. So we are in pound 28.
So guys, this is the National Assembly on our left and we're just walking to the breakfast place because we actually ended up doing more distance than we had realised on the tram but I'm glad that that card works for the tram and the metro I think that's really good value for money the weather's decent it's like there's a bit of a breeze but it's warming up and it's sunny unlike the UK we are enjoying it masks are pretty mandatory here on the tram we were asked to make sure that we had them on and everyone was wearing them but so far we've only been asked to show our vaccination status once that was last night so yeah i think today we'll probably will be asked more <laughs> I feel like something that I've not really heard that much of when I've been speaking about this with other people and even watching travel videos is actually the city has got quite a lot of hilly areas it's reminding me of Istanbul when I went years ago but you can see there's like a hill down there we just walked up a hill now we're going down a hill I mean for fitness it's great <laughs> but if you're not really fit you may struggle oh my god the streets are so pretty I'm obsessed with this architecture look how gorgeous guys we've arrived dear yeah, breakfast yeah. guys how cute is this place sorry <laughs> marble marble velvet and compass guys this place is just as cute as the review says yeah a lot of tourists in here it's so cute yeah i don't know what to do to choose i think i'm gonna choose a, a kai bowl but i kind of wanted something savory as well um okay what would you like like he's having a fruit salad are you having any juice Maybe. They also seem to have really nice movies and I've heard really good things about their cookies as well. So I think we should get some of those. Friday! Also, I still have this off of me. These are the really famous um, pastries. I've put the name on the screen. We're going to come back and try them. I also love going to just bakeries abroad. Oh, here's the tram. That's not the one we're getting, is it? So guys, we're on the bus now and we are on our way to Bellum Tower. Very excited because the weather has picked up a lot. Look how sunny it is. Nothing like the UK. <laughs> We got palm trees and we got sun. What more could you ask for in February? <laughs> I want a pastel de nata. A <laughs> Portuguese custard top. <laughs> Right guys, we're gonna get an electric scooter. I'm loving the live music at Bellum Tower by the way. So beautiful. Lunchtime guys, so it's now 2.40. We are 
near the Santa Maria de Bella. We are just at this restaurant. I'm not even going to try and say the name. I think it's so important when you come to a new country to at least try one of their meals, like their national dishes or their traditional foods. So I'm going to try the Asorda. But I've found this really good blog called handluggageonly.co.uk and they said that it's basically lots of thinly sliced breads, lashings of garlic, coriander and egg all in the bowl and some comes with prawns. So we're going to try that. Guy, okay, what have you got? What have you ordered? Well, we'll show you when the fries come. And then they just gave us bread, cheese, and olives. Mm. They've given us cinnamon and ice and sugar. And is that it? That's two. Yeah. So quite we. This is the most. Is this the most famous one? It's in this building here, basically you can like sit the in. <laughs> you can sit in, or you can just take away, which is what we did. And how lovely are the shoots here? Right, guys, we just stopped to get some coffee. I'm not really a Starbucks drinker, but we don't have that much choice at the moment. I just thought I'd have a caramel latte to one. The weather is absolutely gorgeous. Like, this is why we decided to come here because it's actually the warmest place, one of the warmest places in Europe right now. And this is, yeah, just beautiful weather. We are going to be going back after this to the hotel and picking up our scarves and jackets, which is funny. I've just said the weather's beautiful, but we're picking up our scarves and jackets and then we are going to head over to one of the city's um, high points and then also St George's Castle which is apparently absolutely beautiful to see the sun setting at that time um, so yeah I'm looking forward to doing that okay I'm not gonna lie I'm in a total food coma I didn't even get close to finishing a quarter of my plate but it was so so filling I think I, had, I think it was all the bread that we had too time to do the taste test Oh, I stand it down. It's kind of warm. I'm going to do a taste test with it just by itself. I love that the pastry at the bottom is flaky and it's kind of warm and it's not too sweet. I'm going to put a little bit of cinnamon on it. Mm. Okay, I much prefer it with cinnamon and then I'm going to put a tiny bit of ice and sugar on top as well. Thank you, bro. Guys, I'm just obsessed with the colour of the buildings here. Right, we're going to go into a supermarket. Guys, these are giving me major Pakistan sweet vibes. Super delicious ones. They look like ding dong bubble. So we came back at half five, we're going to have a 20 minute nap and then get up and go for um, sunset <laughs> and then we realised actually like, we'll just do sunset tomorrow. So we just slept and slept and slept and the time currently is 10 to 10. We've woken up, got our warmer clothes on because it's very chilly tonight and we've come to like the best halal chicken place in Lisbon. No organisation here at all and there's just like loads of people standing outside. They've got a eating on the opposite side and then they've got the place where they're making the food on this side. We had to get a taxi here so now we're like do we stay, do we wait, do we try it? Apparently it's got really really good reviews but when are we going to get our food? <laughs> oh no. What do you think, Ukai? Ukai was just looking side to side like, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> All I know is I'm quite hungry. I'm not, but I'm fine though, do you think I can walk? How far is the town bit? Mm, sure. Let's have a look. We've got some sweets. Super tutti fruity gorilla. <laughs> I'm Travis now. The food looks really good, guys. We're just, I'm gonna just walk past with a big plate of naan and a big plate of chicken. It looks really good. <laughs> I think it's gum. It's quarter past twelve and we quarter past twelve? Quarter past ten. <laughs> and we've just got um a seat, so here's a menu. Guys, the naan's so yummy. Very thin but very yummy. And the 
comes with rice as well. And this is super, super spicy. But what do you think, Okar? Banging. Guys, that chicken was some of the best chicken we've ever had in our lives. It was so tasty, so juicy. You know what, I feel like we've also just finally had our proper peri peri experience. Do you know what I mean? Since Portugal's the home of Betty Betty, freezing. It's a bit better than cuckoo's, but. <laughs> it's absolutely freezing right now. Oh, 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 quickly run, 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 run. <laughs> this one over here, don't bring a jacket, but you're saying this is the last time. He's gonna not bring a jacket if I tell him to. If I have done the research, and you guys as well, if you ever come to every, bring a jacket. Whew. Right, now we're gonna walk and burn off all of that delicious food we just had. Hiring a scooter on the bird app. We tried this earlier on, I'm not gonna lie. Um, it was not my favorite experience of all time, but you can't deny that it's really fast and a convenient way to get around. And eco-friendly as well, yes, because no fuel. Um, just saw someone doing like the Uber Eats, or oh, actually it was Uber Eats, like delivery, that sort of thing, on a scooter, which is brilliant. How much is that a day to hire? Eight euros. Eight euros. He's not paying no fuel. He doesn't need to worry about parking as well. So you can just put them anywhere. And he's just getting his money, which is amazing. Hey guys, that is the end of this vlog. I'm going to film Sunday's part and like the end of one day just traveling back in a separate vlog because I actually don't know how long this is for the first time in a long time I didn't bring my laptop with me which is a bit weird I'm not gonna lie I'm used to logging on and seeing what's what and everything but it's, it's good to kind of travel lighter anyway although having the vlog camera and my other camera and my phone it's been a bit a bit of a madness but this has been alhamdulillah such a good trip so far and um, we've really really enjoyed Lisbon we've actually been lucky enough to have some delicious halal food which we were not expecting because based on what we could research before there wasn't a lot also went on the electric scooters and we kind of loved it and I was um <laughs> a little bit terrified <laughs> to be honest but it was fun definitely a fun experience I'm gonna wind down now I've been feeling so bloated and just tired and I'm like why am I so tired and I'm like um I'm literally walking triple the number of steps that I normally do so that's definitely given me so definitely about five times now but that has for sure give me motivation to when we get back to just continue this active lifestyle and um, because I feel like then you can really enjoy your holidays more if it's not such a big shock to the system because you're doing double triple what you normally walk so yes <laughs> there is that and um, inshallah our next travels are going to be happening soon not long after this so a lot of the content on my youtube page is going to be travel content so if you guys enjoyed that then i hope you're excited i am definitely excited but i'm also feeling just so tired so i'm going to take my makeup off and i am going to go to sleep but i will see you very soon in my next travel vlog bye